Jerry just came back. And you're still riding your bunny. Well, you wish you want to have a warm cup of tea. Well, not this moment because we had to go out the exit door. But there's no time for you to sit down and just her. We had to go. And she's going forward, but she's going up and down. But hang on tight. Now, the door is opening. Now, we are going up this ramp. Well, it looks like we're speeding up. But we're not in a rush. What do you see? It may look like we're just in a forest, but this town is integrated in this forest. And the trees right there are planted strategically. And there's rooftop gardens. But now, you are on this road. Mere tile. And this is a tile road. But be aware of a cyclist too, because they didn't go places. And watch out for the trolleys too. Now, be right there. Has to be actually quiet because some of the other villagers are asleep. But Don't assume this town right there is newly built, ready to be populated, nor abandoned. Now, what you see right there is this road. Leading to 
Valdez neighborhood. What do you think about this neighborhood? It does have a working subway system underground and working elevated train system. It's kind of sustainable. Well, we are getting closer. And here we are. We are at the top portion of this city. But I do have an underground version of the city too. It's like a city beneath the city. Look around. The streets are car free, but they rely on public transit vehicle systems. And they do have cyclists. And you also have streetcars too. But you can hear trains running down below. There are windmills on top of these buildings. Well, they do have land based cities right there. But this town is strategically revamped. To house more people inside. Because. There are parks there that are still preserved. There are. Stores are still preserved. And they're functional. There is no coal smoke to worry about. They have vertical gardens everywhere. A vertical forest integrated to each building, taking out carbon dioxide day by day. Are you just wondering about this town? Long ago, during a time when a coal burning plant was belching a lot of smoke, that's where you get power. And it's sir electricity too. This town, when new laws has been made, they've outlawed use of a coal burning plant, and I caused the coal burning plant to shut down forever, and demolish it because there was a mandatory law requires renewable energy, and a mandatory law to help fight climate change. Look, all. A recyclable from a coal burning plant. You can see the demolition site. And that coal burning plant right there may look like it's demolished and is. But this one is actually a museum. Well, they turn this old coal burning plant into a museum because. They want to preserve history. But this coal burning plant was strategically converted into an upgrade power station where windmills distribute power to this building and power is multiplied and distribute to the city. I just worry about these streets and why they're not made asphalt anymore. Long ago, asphalt was a staple paving material for this town. But, they replaced asphalt 
with long-lasting material. Do to a law that prohibits imports or exports of crude oil altogether. And take a look. Of this city, the stores are now sustainable. Now, a fairy is about to poof you to the another portion of this town. Stay with me, mounted. Now. You are now at the suburban neighborhood. And that's where all the homes right there are rewired to a new electrical source via wind and solar. And now we can breathe fresh air that we used to breathe since weeks ago in this town. But I just Wondering what's happening to the gas company who served gas to these homes? They went bankrupt and the gas lines has been dismantled, but they're reusing the gas lines to distribute biogas. Renewable fuels are a must. Now, on left and right sides of the street or road, there are homes right there so big and they can house up to 200 people. Thanks to people has voluntary paid taxes and Strategically save money in our banks or bank accounts. But if you ever go forward along this path that's on the right hand side of the road, that would take you to a large park. But now they have 20 individuals. Who started working? Because this park never closes, it's always open 24 7. Because there are people who are at work, make sure nobody is stranded. Or lost, because they take Cases of people who are lost very seriously. If you ever take a look on left hand side, there is another path that takes you to a group of houses. And it's also a gated community. It's sort of like a car free location, except this community has a zero carbon policy. But now, you're about to make a left-hand turn entering this community. So your bunny is turning left, left, left. 
She's turning left. And now, you're going forward. You're going forward. This town is sleepy, but it's kind of mountainous. It's pretty dim. The sun is up, but you are at the dim section of this town. And take a look at the families who live there. Take a look at these kids who live with their mom. It may look like an ordinary family. But their mom is about 126 years old. Well, she's pretty young, but it's hard to tell. But take a look of her kids. Well, they're all grown up already. They're about 29 years old. Wow! However, we are getting close to this home. And we are about to enter. And the very using magic wand, I mean, the very using magic wand, and here we are. This is a whole new home to be. Now, that's when you right here, Ryan is bunny, looks like you're here to settle down. Well, the bunny stops and looks like she needs a break now. So, the fairy right there will poof you to your favorite place to set down. And I'll poof away.